Do you wanna learn how to code, but you just don't know where to start? There's too many languages? Well, here's the top five coding languages, what they're most used for, and how to start learning them. If you guys missed my last video, I did an overview on what coding is as a whole for anybody inexperienced. Now I'm gonna break down the top five coding languages and what they're most used for. So first, let's start with Python, probably the most beginner-friendly language. Super easy to read, and it almost reads just like English. You can use Python to build all sorts of apps, scripts, automation, data input and it's super easy to learn as well with a variety of Python courses out there and even some being offered by python.com officially, you've got lots of options to learn. This is a great language to just pick up right away and start building little things to get you into coding. Second, and probably one of the most important coding languages right now is JavaScript. Everything that you do on the web, interactive websites, apps, games, and more, they're all built with JavaScript. Learning JavaScript can be a little bit more difficult though because you need a base of HTML and CSS to combine it. But there's lots of resources online to help you learn JavaScript and build some awesome web app. Free Code Camp's a great website that I've used to learn a bit of coding, but you can find pretty much everything you need on YouTube. So after JavaScript, obviously we have to talk about Java. And no, it's not the same language. Java is used in lots of things and it's trusted by large companies. That's one of the most important parts. Enterprise software, Android apps, pretty much anything handling big business, they're using Java. If Java is something you're interested in, you need to go start learning object-oriented basics, and then you can hop into Android Studios. Hopefully before this, you've got a great code base because Java is one of the more complicated languages. Now let's talk about C++, one of the more complicated languages that helps the backend of almost all apps and computers. It's a harder language to pick up, but it teaches you how computers really work. Now, if you're looking to learn C++, learncpp.com is a great resource to help you learn with an active console that you can interact with. Now, last but not least is C Sharp. If you're a game dev, you're probably gonna love this one. It's used with Unity to build 2D and 3D games and even some Windows apps. It's super lightweight and pretty beginner friendly if you're looking to learn how to code games. You can learn it through the Unity engine or just general online tutorials. It's a very well-documented language. All right, so just to recap quickly, if you wanna learn coding and you're a beginner, start with Python. If you wanna do websites, go to JavaScript. If you wanna do Android apps, do Java. If you want high powered coding, go C++. And for games, use C Sharp. So I hope you guys learned something from today's video. Drop a comment down below if there's a coding language you'd like to see me go way more in depth in because I will make a full video breaking down these languages eventually. But if there's one you want me to start with first, please let me know. Have a great, <laughs> sorry, have a great day guys.